What's going on, y'all? So, the topic at hand is there 23 safeties better than J. Ron Curse? My answer is no. There's not 23. But I got to be candid with y'all, right? So, his sample size of success in this league is very small, right? Um, you know, he pretty much came on the scene when, um, you know, when he came into Dan Quinn's system. Dan Quinn seen some in him, right, that other teams couldn't bring out of him, right? You know, when J-Ron first came on the, uh, to the team, we like, oh, he, he, he'll be a special teams player. Oh, he, he might get cut in camp, right? We did never thought that J-Ron would be able to sit over there and give us this production that he gave us. So with that being said, right, did other teams look at him as in, um, oh, he's just, is, is he a system player? Uh, will we be able to use him the way Dallas will be able to use him? Could we get the most out of him the way Dallas will be able to get the most out of him? Their answer was probably no. Um, so, you know, and, and then regardless if y'all want to call him a system player or not, there's a whole bunch of players in this league that are system players that don't want to leave that system there. And when they leave that system, they won't have as much success, if any at all, if they leave that system. That's why sometimes they, t they may take a little less to sit over there and to be able to shine. For instance, Draymond, right? We know Draymond, you know, when the Pistons, Draymond Green, when the Pistons offered him that big contract, right? Draymond League will probably be out the league right now because they, the Pistons will be paying him to, to be a, a heavy contributor on offense. And we know that's not Draymond's game. But Draymond was smart, decided to stay in that system, was comfortable on what he can do, and not only, you know, get a nice little paycheck, but he's winning championships. And that's the same thing with J-Ron, you know. Talent-wise, he has shown that he is, there's 23 that's not better than us, right? Regardless if he is scheme fit or not. When he's with us, 23 is not better than is not better than J Ron. So yeah, I'll have to agree with J Ron. Because not only do we get, you know, heart, leadership, and determination from J Ron, we get somebody that can play in the box. We get somebody that's able to be able to carry tight ends, you know, and, and has success doing that. You know, regardless, you still gotta be a player, you still gotta be able to perform. We put whether it's Dan Quinn helping him put the, the put him in the best position to succeed or what. At the end of the day, you still have to perform, and that's what J. Ron did. And we are lucky to sit over there and have that nice piece back at a nice team freely Stephen Jones deal. <laughs> so you know, I understand why J. Ron is hot because I because you know J. Ron, man. He, he got a lot of confidence. He believed in himself. All he wanted was the opportunity. And he got that opportunity in Dallas. So, yeah, I understand why J-Ron, you know, feel the way he feel like he feel disrespected. But my message to J-Ron Curse, show him again. Show the world again. Take it to another level. If J-Ron take it to even another level, like the, like the way we expect the rest of the defense, just think how this defense is going to look. You know? So we're not gonna sit over there and lie like J. Ron ain't a ain't a, ain't a ain't a big piece. You know we all wanted J. Ron back, but me personally, I did another video. I didn't want J. Ron back at an overpriced though. You know, you know we may not be able to you know replace maybe the impact that he had mentally on the team, but physically we could. If we're being honest with you, um, you know. We could, you know, uh, but J. Ron, his value to us is bigger than on the field. I mean, uh, just the play. I mean, off the field is very big, and I believe that's part of the reason why, you know, Dallas has brought him back, and that's part of the reason why he accepted that deal. You know, it's just a small sample size. It ain't nothing against J. Ron. It was just. We have a small sample size of golf. What were you doing before you came to the Dallas Cowboys? And, you know, you had one year. You're supposed to sit over there and get a super payday off of one year? No. 
you know people get paid off of their rookie contracts but guess what they didn't have two to three years of performance to show like all right this is who i am this is who i you know so you can't get paid you can't expect a, a fat payday off of one year you know so but nonetheless you know i believe it. i think he signed a two-year deal if i'm not mistaken and j-ron performing you know again you know that year or two so yeah j-ron definitely should be getting another contract it may not be with us but most definitely that contract should be fatter so but y'all let me know what y'all think on this situation man y'all like comment and subscribe we out